Welcome back to the channel. For today's video is how to calculate the diameter of anchor bolts that can resist tensile and shear force. But before that, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to be updated for our future uploads. Let us consider we have a steel column which is pinned down at the concrete pedestal with four anchor bolts. Using ASTM F1554, grade 36, having a yield strength of 248 newton per square millimeter and ultimate strength of 400 newton per square millimeter. If it is subjected to a tensile load of 120 kilonewton, what would be the diameter of the anchor bolt? To work on that, according to section 510.36 of the NSCP 2015 which is also derived from ACI, the design tension strength is equal to the reduction factor, phi, multiplied by the nominal tensile stress, FNT, which can be obtained from table 510.3.2, multiplied by the tensile area of the anchor bolt that is given in this table. Where the value of reduction factor, phi, is 0 0.75. Now, since we will be using ASTM F1554 anchor bolts, the table suggests to use 0.75 times the ultimate strength, Fu, as the nominal tensile stress, Fnt, if the threaded parts meeting the requirements of section 510.3.4, and threads are not excluded from the shear planes. In this case, our tensile load is 120,000 Newton, divided by 4, that would be 30,000 newton, which would be carried by each anchor bolt. Therefore, we have 30,000 newton is equal to 0.75 reduction factor, multiplied by the nominal tensile stress, 0.75 of the ultimate strength 400 newton per square millimeter, then multiplied by the tensile area. Solving for the tensile area, we have 133.33 square millimeter. Then, we will compare it to the table. Therefore, we will be using 16 mm diameter bolt. How about if it is subjected to a shear force? The formula of the design shear strength would be similar to that of the tensile strength. The difference would be the nominal shear stress, FNV, that is 0.45 of the ultimate strength, FU, if the threaded parts meeting the requirements of section 510.3.4, and threads are not excluded from the shear planes. And also take note that the nominal area of the bolt should be used if the shear plane passes through the unthreaded part of the bolt, otherwise use the tensile area of the bolt. And that's it for this video. Please help this channel by liking this video and to be updated for our future uploads, Please subscribe and hit the notification bell button.